Question three gets a bit challenging, and there's two different versions of this question. Uh, my book's got a minus on the top here. I've seen another one that's got a plus on the top and a minus on the bottom. Both give the same answer, but uh, I'll do this one here. Look, because I've got the minus here, I need to change the angles to minuses and change that to a plus. And so putting that in its exponential form, I'm doing 7 times 4 is 28 pi over 13, and it's negative i on the top and the bottom here i've got four times six i've got 24 pi over 13 i there when i take away the powers i'm getting minus 52 over 13 so minus four i there and that's given me a, an answer of one at the end there so i missed my pi out there didn't i but that gives one and look if it, it's the other way around it had the same answer now Part B, you start getting a little bit confused because you've got different angles, different parts in this one here, and we need them to be the same for this to work. Right, this is all about those symmetry of those graphs then, isn't it? So let's, let's think about the sine graph to start with. That if you've got a sine graph, and here we go up and down like this, in the middle here we've got pi here, and we're at 11 pi over 7. Now 11 pi over 7 is about here. That bit there is 11 pi over 7. That means that distance there to there is 3 pi over 7. So this is exactly the same as the angle minus 3 pi over 7. I can put that in there, minus 3 pi over 7. They're still different. They're still different now. But this minus 3 pi over 7 is the same as the positive value of 3 pi over 7 from the symmetry. So I can just change this one to a plus and get rid of that one there. Now it's different to what I, well, I mean, similar idea to what I was doing there, but I'm only changing the one of them. So the top there I've fixed now. Now they're the, both the same ones there. And you're going to need to draw some trig graphs and get some symmetries going on uh, to work out that. We've got to do the same on the bottom one. It's not as difficult here. In the, here we've got a cos graph, the cos graph going all the way down and all the way up again. And we're at 15 pi over 7. Um, so uh, 15 pi over 7, yeah, 15 pi over 7. So 15 pi over 7 is sort of a little bit more. 14 pi over 7 is there, 15 pi over 7 is exactly there. So these two are both exactly the same. So I'm going to write this one as the cos of pi over 7 uh, plus i sine pi over 7, because 15 pi over 7 is the same angle as pi over 7. Um, so from there, we can now um, continue in the usual way. So this is e to the 9 pi over 7i. On the bottom, we've got e to the pi over 7i. So taking them away, I've got e to the 8. Um, no, that one's squared, isn't it? That one's squared on the bottom. Sorry. That one's squared, so I've got 2 pi. So 9 pi, take away 2 pi, is 7 pi over 7i. And so we're getting minus one for that one there. And the bottom one, same sort of ideas here, looking at the symmetries. Um, so the first one, first one, I'm looking at the two pi. So where is two, sorry, two thirds pi. Two thirds pi is here. Two thirds pi has actually got the same sign as um, pi as one third pi here, and it's the negative of that one there. Um, so I've got four thirds pi, and that one there is going to be the same, plus i sine four thirds pi. So in this bit here, we're not really doing any further maths. We're actually playing with some old trig identities, spot trig identity, trigs, trig symmetries, aren't we? On the top there and 10 pi over 3 and 4 pi over 3 um, well they are the same aren't they because cos graph here 10 pi over 3 is 2 pi 2 pi minus 4 over 3 pi is I think it's the same anyway but having recorded for this long I'm pretty sure they're the same um, so I've got 10 pi over 3 um, 
Yeah, of course it is, because it's 6 pi there. So I'm going to change them both. Sorry, it's not there. It's, it's there, isn't it? It's just the next circle along then. Oh, if this wasn't so long into the video, I'd start and redo it again, but I'm not going to. Um, so what we got here, I've got 28 pi over 3 on the top. I've got 16 pi over 3 on the bottom. Take them away and I've got um, 12 pi over 3. So 4 pi, another 4 pi. So that one's just 1 again. Um, so they're not easy, as I just proved it, but they're looking at trig symmetries.